so now we're going to look at income statements for 3.2. So if you click on 3.2, it says 7.2, but this is really 3.2. So an income statement takes all of our income plus cost and then operating expenses. And it can tell us, a business owner, if you're making a profit or if you're losing money. It organizes all that information. Okay, so like our last one, it's drag and drop. So for the month of June, Mark Ruth collected the following information about his electronics store. So sell of televisions was 6,400. Okay, so television sales were selling, were making money. That was 6,400. Sell of stereos, 5,300. So stereo sales. wasn't centered. Let's see if I can get it centered. That's better. I like it. It won't mark it wrong, but just looks better. Okay, so that's our income is what we sell. So if we add those up, we're going to get 11,700. So that's our income. And now we need to look at cost of things. So cost of televisions, 5,000. And these kind of go in order. Cost of televisions, and then we're going to look at cost of stereos. So televisions, 5,000. Stereos, 4,200. 5,000. 4,200. So total cost is we're going to add those together. So 9,200. Gross profit on sales. So this gross just means pre-tax. And we have our cost of goods and then our income. So it's saying, what are we making? So if we take our profit, but then we have to pay the bills. We got to pay for this stuff. Minus 9,200. We're actually only making 2,500 after we pay for the TVs and the stereos. Okay, you gotta buy the stuff before you sell it. And then it goes into expenses. So salaries and wages are 400. This must be really old, because that's not that much, right? Rent is only 250. Yep, sweet. Um, advertising, 50. Taxes, 70. Advertising, 50. Taxes, 70. And supplies, 120. See, I'm just dragging and dropping here. Uh, miscellaneous, 220. Okay, so now it's asking, what is the total operating expense? So all these numbers that we just drag and dropped in, I'm going to add them up. So our total operating is $1,110. So are we profit or loss? What's the amount? So we're making $2,500 but we have to pay 1,110 to operate. So our profit would be 1,390 because our profit value is greater than our expenses value. Okay, so Mark Ruth's had a net profit of 1,390 and you can check all of these and you can check that. I wonder, oh, I bet I had to put the zeros. I believe I had to put the comma. Okay, I had to put the comma and not the cents. So on those, um, sometimes it's formatting. And now you know on that. So I just did the whole first one. Now there's a second one for you to do on your own. Okay, so these are all drag and drop when you take your test. It's going to be just some true-false questions about um, balance sheets and income statements. Good luck.